Hello everyone, welcome back to another Triple Hound video where we're making more custom Fortnite skins. And we have had a very, very persistent and loyal viewer that has very patiently requested Ladybug and Cat Noir. Now, I very, very much appreciate all of the requests everybody sends in and this particular viewer really, really, really wants to see Ladybug and Cat Noir. So who you have before you here is our best version of a custom Ladybug skin in Fortnite. Now, we are not going to stop just at making Ladybug and Cat Noir in this video, but we are going to add a bunch of different characters from the Ladybug and Cat Noir television show in this one video. Uh, I have to admit, I didn't know really anything about the Miraculous universe when I first saw the request, but I started looking into some of these characters, and I really felt like we could make uh, a whole bunch of these guys. So I gave it a try. So in this video, you are going to see Ladybug and Cat Noir, but you're also going to see some other people like Rena Rouge and Queen Bee. And there was some character that was like designed after a perfume bottle. Really a whole bunch of people that I tried to make. Oh, Carapace, like a turtle fella. The whole gist of the show seems to be and feel free to explain it in the comments below. I've never actually seen the show. I've only seen pictures of these characters and read a little bit about the premise, but it seems to be a show in which the characters can take on kind of animal powers or something uh, based on these little ghost creatures. They're Kwamis, I think they're called. And then there is a villainous character named Hawk Moth who kind of infects these uh, people of the city with spells or something that uh, make them uh, fall victim to their sort of their worst uh, emotions and their worst natures and they kind of become villains uh, unwittingly and that's that's my paraphrasing of it without ever having seen it so I apologize if I screwed that whole story up but it was a really great suggestion uh, and I started looking into some of these characters and I'm gonna do the best I can to show you how we made them because I don't know a lot about these characters, I really worked with a preset just based on matching their colors up, because I really couldn't do much else, frankly. Uh, the Harmonic Axes, the red color version, I tried to use her as well as the red version of the Neymar Jr. Glider, the Aerial Acrobat, and uh, the Banner Wrap here, but with a banner, a red banner with circles on it, kind of to do the Ladybug pattern for that. For Ladybug, we used the Polarity skin in the Bionic Forge suit pattern, Hairstyle C, eye mask on and belt off. This kind of gave her the two sort of pigtail looking things uh, in the back, which I thought got closest to how she looks in the pictures I saw. Primary material is metallic, primary color is red. Secondary material is also metallic and the secondary color is black. Accessory color is black to give her that black mask. Nothing weird going on with her eyes. Skin tint uh, is default, and hair tint is black to give her dark hair, and no sticker really seemed to make sense. I think if you had something that was circular, maybe you want to use the big bomb. That kind of gives her like a black spot on there like a ladybug might have. I could see that working. So that is our ladybug. Let's move straight on to Cat Noir. This is our Cat Noir. <sighs> He's not as good as Ladybug. So, but we did give him uh, the Kaio back bling because uh, his little Kwame character is a black and green cat type thing, I think. So we thought that we would try to replicate that here. I think I did see him with like a small um, staff or like a uh, handed, one-handed club type thing. So I gave him the Daredevil's Billy Clubs. IO stealth sail for his glider and the boogeyman wrap because that's all black. For him we used the wanderlust skin to to get this haircut. He's got kind of like a spiky alternative cut. Uh, it's not perfect. It should kind of like go in his face a little bit more but uh, this is what we ended up trying. We use suit pattern victorious hairstyle B, mask on, belt on, primary material metallic, primary color is silver, 
Secondary material is plastic and the secondary color is black. And this is what we do when we're trying to give somebody an all black outfit because if you kind of, I don't know, squint your eyes enough, it looks like he's all sort of one color here. You can see a difference. I'm not gonna try to lie to you, but you, you, it's kind of a blur. It's kind of like all one sort of dark color. So this is what we try to do when we want him to, to be wearing all black. Of course, Fortnite won't let you use all black anymore because that they say it gives you a competitive advantage, it lets people hide in shadows and stuff like that. So the best we can do is sort of like a dark gray on dark gray. Accessory color is black to make sure his eyes are the right color. Eye effects are off, eye color default, skin tint default, hair tint color mustard, because we're trying to make him blonde. It would be perfect if he could have like all blonde hair and not sort of dark roots like we're giving him here, but that really wasn't available to us, unless we decided to go with a character who had a very different hairstyle. So we had to pick between picking a character with the wrong hairstyle, but maybe the right color, or the closer to the right hairstyle and slightly wrong color, we chose the latter. And again, no stickers here. So we now have shown you Ladybug and Cat Noir. Let's get into some of the other characters who are also in our little list here. This one is our Rena Rouge. We gave her the Dodger back bling because it's a little fox. And that is kind of her spirit animal or whatever. I've seen her with a staff, so we gave her Ray's quarter staff. The rest of this largely looks the same. For her, we used the Joltara skin because we wanted to give her a sort of more hair, kind of a bigger, fuller haircut. Suit pattern victorious, hairstyle A, mask on, belt on. Primary material is metallic and the primary color is orange. We'd really love for that to be more of a redder orange or a darker orange, but if we decided to go all the way and make it red, it just wouldn't quite be right. So orange it is. Secondary material is spandex and the secondary color is white. And the pattern is frankly really perfect for her. If the orange was just a little bit redder, the whole outfit would be dead on. Accessory color is black and she actually has a mask that's got um, other colors in it as well but we wanted to get more black into her outfit because she has more black in there. If we didn't give her accessories that were black, then really none of it would be black. And she does need some black in there to make it as accurate as possible. Eye effects off, eye color off, uh, no skin tint, but the hair tint color is orange. And this is another case where we really wish her roots weren't dark. Uh, her hair really should be all around uh, orange. No sticker here. So that is our Rena Rouge, the sort of the fox type character in the Miraculous show. I promised you Queen Bee, and so now we're gonna do Queen Bee. For her, I gave her this uh, blade bag just because it has yellow and black on it, and I thought kind of matched her style. The Victor's Flails, I think I saw her with um, some kind of a hanging charm or something, so I tried to capture that look with uh, these things. And I used the Cameo Wrap, again, because it has that yellow and black look to it with the stripes. Again, we're using Joltara, but this time we are gonna use the Dynamic Suit Pattern and Hairstyle B, Eye Mask On and Belt On. Primary material is metallic and the primary color is yellow. Secondary material is cloth and the secondary color is black. Accessory color is black. Eye effects off and eye color is default. Skin color default and the hair color is yellow. We really, another case where we wish that we could make just the full head of hair one solid color, but instead we've got to do this sort of weird tint thing. And no sticker, as tends to be the case now. Moving on to Viperion, uh, a character I really didn't hint at in the beginning because uh, frankly I forgot I made him until I got to this point in the video. But uh, I was looking up different characters that are in this Miraculous show, and uh, this Viperion guy uh, seemed to be somebody that I could make. So I did. I used the hench wrap to kind of match his color scheme, and I really couldn't give him the type of pickaxe that I probably would want. 
because he has like a little harp thing that's sort of his, I don't know, weapon or thing that he carries with him. And this was kind of as close as I could get to having like that little handheld thing in his hand. I just gave him the Silver Surfer's surfboard as a uh, glider, gave him some teenage angsty things like facepalm. I'll be seeing you. I used the hunter skin uh, suit pattern peerless, hairstyle A, eye mask on, and belt off. Primary material is metallic, primary color is turquoise, secondary material is plastic, and the secondary color is dark teal. And this sort of color combination is really kind of perfect for him. I was surprised at how well uh, he turned out. Accessory color is turquoise for his mask. Nothing weird going on with his eyes, uh, but for his hair, we do give him the turquoise color for his hair. No sticker, as always. And that is our Viperion. This is Princess Fragrance, and she's the, the perfume bottle girl that I kind of mentioned uh, at the beginning. And uh, I don't know how prominent a character she is. She might only be in like one episode or something. Uh, but again, I was just kind of scanning through lists of characters and she came up. For her, I gave her the Crystal Axe of the Masters, which, I don't know, kind of is reminiscent of a perfume bottle to me. Similarly, uh, these uh, glider wings, the Hunter's Skyblade, kind of worked as a back bling. And the Target Acquired had sort of the right color scheme. And the Laser Blaze wrap was just right with the hot pink and black. For her, again, we're using Joltara, again, hairstyle B, Bionic Forge as a suit pattern, mask on, belt on. Primary material is metallic, primary color is black, secondary material is spandex, and the secondary color is magenta. And this color scheme is, is just right for her. Accessory color is black in this case, eye effects off, eye color default. But the skin color is lime green, and she's not like a zombie or anything, but that's the color of her face. Hair tint color is magenta. And here again, uh, if we could just make it all magenta, we would, but we can't, and no sticker. If I'm not mistaken, she's one of the characters that like Hawk Moth corrupts with uh, nasty feelings and kind of makes her worse than she is. I think that's the case with Queen Bee and maybe even Viperion too. I think they're sort of villainous characters because they're normal people who are corrupted by Hawk Moth. And the last one we'll make in this miraculous mega episode is Carapace, the, the sort of the tortoise or turtle character in there. And uh, I kind of felt like I had to make him because I have this Shelly back blank. As long as I could put a turtle shell on the back of somebody, it seemed like I ought to make that character. And the Cosmic Cleaver is just because they're green. My Brella Glider from whatever it was, Chapter 2 Season 3 maybe? Maybe 2? Where you could customize it. I just happened to make a customized one that doesn't look too dissimilar from a... Uh, turtle shell floating in the air, so uh, that's what I decided to go with. For him, I used the Wanderlust skin and suit pattern Intrepid, the half mask style. The character really has got like a hood or something on, so this isn't perfect. But uh, again, because I had the turtle shell, I wanted to at least try to make him. Doesn't matter what you do with the eye mask, but you want to put the belt on. Primary material is metallic, primary color is green. Secondary material is cloth, and the secondary color is also green. Uh, really what he's got is sort of a checkered pattern on his front that's a lighter green color than the rest of him. But with these customizable suit skins in Fortnite, you really only have this one green to pick from, and it's a super, super bright green. So if you want to make anything darker than anything else, you've got to make it metallic. Uh, so we tried to replicate that as, as best as we could to give him like something different across his chest um, than what was on the rest of him, but as you can see, it's not great. We frankly saved this guy for last because he turned out looking, I think, the least like the source material of all of these miraculous characters, and our statistics show us that 
really, on average, nobody makes it this far into the video, so um, we can to totally make this guy a giant flop and nobody will ever see it. Accessory color is green, uh, no eye effects or eye color, skin tint, skin or hair tint, doesn't matter, no sticker, and that is carapace. And if you have watched long enough to see the carapace customizable skin here, please put in the comments that I watched long enough to see carapace. And tell me what you think of him. Uh, I, I don't love him. I love that he's got a turtle shell and so does carapace, but I really wish I could give him like a hood or something that made him look more like the character in the cartoon. So if you're still watching, and our statistics tell us you probably aren't, if you're still watching, let me, let me know what you think of Carapace and put in the comments, I watched long enough to see Carapace. I think we're gonna switch back to Queen Bee for our outro tonight. So we have done now Ladybug, Cat Noir, Queen Bee, Viperion, Rena Rouge, Carapace, who am I forgetting? Oh, uh, the, the fragrance person, I don't know. I'm not really familiar with these characters, uh, so I apologize if I haven't quite accurately described how the whole plot of the series works, but I did like the suggestion once I started seeing pictures of these characters online, so uh, I feel like these were people that we could make in Fortnite, so thank you very much for the suggestion. And if other people have different suggestions, even if they're not mainstream characters, but you're ones that we think would look good using these best boundless customizable skins please do let us know drop those suggestions in the co comments below and we'll do the best we can to make them again thank you so much for watching uh, check us out on twitch twitter and instagram at triple hound and use code triple hound in the fortnite item shop in epic game store uh that's it i guess see you later